Yeah, so the question was, um, for people that are interested in breaking into this field, are, are there any recommendations? Um, so for me, I, I kind of went about it in a, uh, a fairly roundabout way. So I actually started off in um, more, of a game, more of the game theory side. So I worked in computational game theory, and my plan was to pursue a PhD in computational game theory. Um, poker, the, the challenge of making a poker AI was considered a game theory challenge. Uh, and so that's why I worked on that. And gradually, my research shifted more towards the reinforcement, deep reinforcement learning side of things. Um, I think if you want, I should say, breaking into these fields is very competitive these days, but there, there are opportunities. And I think a lot of it is that you have to be self-motivated to, um, to pursue these, these kinds of directions. Um, becoming familiar with um, you know, machine learning concepts, becoming familiar with PyTorch, being able to demonstrate um, you know, research aptitude, uh, it doesn't have to be in um, a career that you're, you're doing right now. Uh, it could be on your own. And in fact, in some ways, it's even better because it shows that you're really motivated. Um, uh, then if you want to become a research engineer, yeah, you just have to show strength in, 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 this, in this area from, from an engineering standpoint. And um, if you want to become a research scientist, uh, which is honestly not that different, um, you have to go for a PhD in uh, you know, in, in one of these universities and work with somebody who does research in this field.